Hi there, Alex Icky here with song number 18 of my 52 song project. Well, I say song, but I'm actually going to do a spoken word piece today. I'm back in my tiny house. It's so nice. It's a bit chilly, but it's lovely and uh, so good to be home. I'm just, uh, I've been here for a couple of days and I'm just loving it. Um... But anyway, on to the song project. It's just so nice to be recording from here. I pre-recorded something because I wasn't sure how this week was going to roll out, and it's so nice that I have time to actually record something fresh. Today, May 3rd, is my grandmother's birthday. She would have been 102 um, today. She died in 2012. And shortly after she died, I wrote this piece and performed it at a gala performance that was dedicated in honor of her. My grandmother was a children's writer and an extraordinary person and a truly wonderful grandmother. And I miss her very much. So this piece is for you, Nana. Happy birthday. I love you. It's entitled, She Grew. Born by the light of a kerosene lamp in 1913, in a country home in Woodville, Annapolis Valley, Nova Scotia, she grew. The middle of five kids caught between two girls ahead, two boys behind, she always felt like a little bit of an outsider, always had a bit of a chip on her shoulder. And she grew. She developed her talent for storytelling early. Make-believe was her other home, the thing that drove her ever onward. Her parents, staunchly Victorian, told her what to think and what to say, what to do and what not to do. But she grew. Student in a two-room schoolhouse, she memorized poems, wrote compositions, struggled with arithmetic. Born at a time when women had few options open to them, nurse, teacher, mother. She chose from the avenues available to her, and she grew. Teacher in a one-room schoolhouse, she brought poetry to life, told the children's stories, still struggled with arithmetic. She met and married a handsome man, handsome is as handsome does, swore true to him through thick and thin. It's all in the way you hold your mouth. It's all in the way you hold your cards. And she grew. From country roads to small towns, from small towns to small cities, from small cities to the big city. And always she wrote stories. She said that when she was a teacher, she could always tell the children who had books in their homes. She knew. She knew the power of granting each child the magic of reading, that first glimpse into words that could give them liberty, the opportunity to think for themselves, to experience things they might never know in real life and to know where they came from and where they belonged. She had that in spades, that sense of place, of history, of people, and she conveyed it in little Sunday school papers every chance she got. In defiance of her husband's resentment, her neighbor's scorn, she wrote. She always wrote. And when her world fell apart, when all the things she had tried to shoehorn herself into, and all the things she had longed for and embraced, when everything came crashing down around her, she neither bent nor broke. She grew. A story grew to be a book, first published when she was sixty, a monument to never too late, a refusal to let life pass her by. One book grew to be many books, and she grew. She told me once that she wished she could have been like Margaret Lawrence, to tell it like it was, straight up and damn the consequences. But she cared too much for the feelings and opinions of people who had stayed small. After all, they were her people. And so the story of her life remained untold. If she couldn't tell it truly, she wouldn't tell it at all, but gave it to us in little fragments, small pieces of true, sparkling truth and fiction. And she grew. Pushing one hundred, she shrank in stature, her vertebrae receding inch by inch. But her heart only got bigger. In that last year, we could talk about anything. God and the hereafter, racism, feminism, art, and creativity. And in those final moments, her blue eyes clouded. Let us hope she wasn't really there. She strained against the limitations of her body and struggled to leave it there behind her where it belonged. And then she grew. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.